everybody. New year, new time. Madden 12's out. Let's go. Minnesota Vikings versus the Atlanta Falcons. I'm playing as the Falcons. Percy Harvin taking the ball up the middle. And what is this, guys? A fumble. Yes, fumble. Nice little start to the game. New season, new time. New people, new uniforms. And look at this. Donna McNabb now in purple. Who would ever think it? I mean, all right. They have him, him and Adrian Peterson. Must be good fantasy numbers here. But, I mean, the Falcons, no match for them. They have great run defense. And Falcons had a great season last year. Just, you know, fell up short. That's that's football for you. I mean, if it was like NCAA college, you know, you lose one game, that's how you win and get to the championship. That would be pretty cool. But, nope, looks like the Falcons are going to redeem themselves this year. The only reason I'm playing with the Falcons now, I'm from Atlanta. I mean, I'm a big New York Giants fan. My dad was from New Jersey. grew me up a big blue fan, so that's it. But I love the Falcons. I mean, the Falcons are my always second team. I was a big Michael Vick fan, and uh, it's cool. But Don McNaz making some interesting passings right here. I mean, he keeps throwing to interesting people. And let me just tell you guys this. I'm playing against a little kid this game. Little kid starts the game off, but interception right there. You see, buy more. Nice little game to start the game. This little kid's talking trash to me, and I don't get what it is about sports games compared to like COD, you know, Black Ops games stuff. But I get more ta trash talking in sports games than I get on Call of Duty, and that might be really hard to believe because trash talking's been picking up. But nice little juke by uh, Turn of the Burner and. For all you do not know, Madden got rid of the sprint button, so it's all kind of following your blockers. So running's going to be a lot harder this year. And Turner is just a big guy, so, I mean, if he gets a hole, you know, he got it. So, um, Matt Ryan, nice little pass right here to Douglas. And little thing about Douglas, I mean, I, my dad and I were driving down, I think, about five or six years ago, right when Douglas got to the team. And we are just driving down the interstate. I think I was going to a hockey game, and I saw this really nice yellow car drive up past us. And... Saw this huge Falcons decal on the side, and I'm like, what is this? And they had Douglas's number on it, and that means he actually just got traded. I, I don't know if he came from Miami or something. I don't know if it was him just driving up there, but it was really cool to see his car. Really nice car in the interstate. That's just a little short story. But Matt Ryan, two touchdowns to Tony Gonzalez. Tony G, the guy from Kansas City, the big tight end. And that's how I like to play football. I love going with the tight end. The tight end is the most underused player, I think, in Madden. For me, that's how it is. But nice little 7-0 start. Making this kid uh, a little screamish right now. He's still yelling at his mic, telling me I'm a bad kid. And, you know, all these explicit curse words that I don't really like to say on my channel. But Percy Harvin's not going anywhere. I mean, hope Percy Harvin actually stays this year because I had him on my fantasy team last year. He got injured, had to cut him. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's fantasy for you. And I'm not a big fantasy guru or anything. I just try to like, I love sports. I mean, you can tell by just my, my, um, my thing. But right here we have an interception. Yes, another interception by Grimes. And Grimes is one of these most underrated people players in the NFL he had a lot of interceptions last year this little guy that gets up and I mean everyone in the Falcons they re-signed him he's a really good guy and so two picks already I mean that's that's just really good game now I'm changing the play up doing audibles audibles have changed a lot last bat in a bot was one with uh Brett Favre on the cover I know how funny is that so Turner gets a nice little gain right up right up the middle second of four not, not a bad start and for me when I'm playing this game is the games are really long so I'm bringing you guys the best highlights of this stuff the whole game wasn't like this, um, but Turner, nice little cut to the outside and takes it to the house. Right here, takes a nice little kneel, just a little nice thing, and um, of course, you're going to make the extra point. If you miss the extra point, I would probably just rage quit. So 14 nothing Falcons, another kickoff. Bobby Boucher, uh, the water boy, is kicking the ball off, which Boucher, I don't even know who that is, but I think it's a funny name, right? So Percy Harvin, I mean, this, guy, this guy's getting nice returns. I mean, returns are one of the hardest things to do in Madden football. I mean... Uh, when I was playing the demo, I don't know if you guys saw, but the blocking is awful. And, oh, oh man, I tried to go for a pick, and uh, that wasn't smart on my part. So he takes it to the house. No shutout in this game. I do apologize for that. I'll work harder for that. I'm going to try to get my 200-01 domination and, you know, get a shut scoreless game on um, Madden Football 12. But this is my first game. you gotta, you got to forgive me. I was actually not going to buy this game. All the other games are just boring to me. Black Ops is dead now to me. Uh, I'm still going to be bringing the channels to you because I know you all love, you guys still love Black Ops and all. Just for me, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm back in college, and college is something different. Um, it's it's uh, busy work. It's not busy work like in high school. High school was just busy work all the time. In college, you're actually doing stuff meaningful. Everything you do pretty much will help you in some way or another. At least for me, I'm taking all the classes mainly for my major now, and that's graphic design. And I, have, I just had a great week. Uh, I actually bought the programs Adobe CS5, so I can actually start making backgrounds now. So if you guys need a background, just hit me up. I'm not going to charge right now. I'm just going to try to test my craft and see how it goes. So just PM me if you want. And, uh, ooh, Matt Ryan to an interception. Oh, yeah, that, that was a good. No, no little sparkles for that one. That was an enemy pick. So, uh, all right, Matt Ryan's not hum as human. It's okay. Matty Ice, do a pick. All right, AP, taking a ball up the middle. That's fine. That's fine. 
but yeah, I had a great week. I mean, I started classes again, and I've been trying to bring videos out to you all. I was trying to get, I was playing a lot of zombies, because the moon zombies was fantastic. I actually was not going to buy that either, but this is funny to me. Adrian Peterson's injured, and if you know the Minnesota Vikings, without AP, they're, they're pretty much garbage. I mean, Tony Gerhardt, I mean, he's a great guy in college. He's, he, you know, he might, he might have a breakout season this year, so let's see what happens. But uh, this kid, the AP was his old character. I mean, without AP, it's nothing. And Kenny Lofton, right here. Kenny Lofton, yes, from the Indians, picks the ball off. I only never heard of this guy before, but he makes some big plays this game. Uh, he, I mean, if, if he's on the Falcons and he does a lot this year, woo. And I love this option. I mean, are you going to really take this kid out for one game and continue for a season? That's just kind of funny to me. But Kenny Lofton with a nice pick. So, nice. I'm winning the turnover possession game really quickly. So, turn to the burner, taking the ball up the middle, and that's how you do. I mean, in football, you just got to pound it and ground it. I mean, my college team is uh, Georgia Southern. That's where I go, and we run the triple option. And, you know, it's kind of slow in the first half, second half, but then the third and fourth after wear the defense down, that's how you do it. And I remember back from other Maddens, they kind of, they always kind of ask you, you like, run or play or balance. And, you know, you have to have a good run game for a good offense to open it up. So that's good, right? But unfortunately, uh, Bobby Boucher has to come in and uh, punt the ball off. And like I already told you, I mean, pump blocking is really hard in this game. And this guy's trying to go all out attacks. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever, man. So I'm expecting for a fair catch because, look, guys, two people coming at him. What's he going to do? What? What? No way, man. Are you serious? We have a brick wall right here. She's a brick house. Yeah, right there. Nice little nice little play right there. Touchdown, Falcons. 27. Of course I'm going to make this because if I don't make this, I'm going to rage quit. Yes, I will rage quit. So 21-7. to 7, um, It's kind of funny to me. This guy took out Donovan McNabb and started putting Ponders in. And Ponders actually came in for the first touchdown. So I don't know if McNabb's just bad in this game or Ponders better or this kid just likes to play with speed characters. But, I mean... You know, after I'm up this much, he starts pausing the game and just kind of checking it out and kind of making me stall, hoping that I lag out. You know how all those people do on EA Sports, like FIFA games and stuff like that. So Ponders just keep going deep. I mean, he thinks he's, like, going to win the Heisman or something. I mean, he's going for deep threat like Tom Brady to Ocho Cinco or something crazy like that. And so right there, fourth down, fourth and ten, he makes a play. I was just trying to play and prevent. You know, we're under two minutes, and uh, this is only halftime right now. Not even fourth quarter yet, so I'm just going to play defense. Going to take my lead, and all right, nice little pack. I believe I was Kenny Lofton again. That's cool. So one for two on fourth down conversions. So, I mean, I should stop him, right? Ooh, did he get it? Yeah, all right, he got it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. 40 seconds, just clicking it down. Let's let's just make it a 21 set. I mean, I'm going to go on halftime with the lead. I mean, if I don't go halftime with lead, that's going to be really bad on my part. So the kid keeps going for deep bombs, and more of the guy that picked uh, picked off the ball earlier, he, he stops it again. So Ponder's stepping back, stepping back. Nice little deep throw. All right. Oh, come on, man, really? A touchdown? Oh, but then the guy right there, the savior, comes in with the flag. Yes, offsides, holding, whatever it was. I think it was holding. That just stinks for him. Yeah, so he starts pausing again, pausing again, just like, oh, all right, whatever. So I'm blitzing this play with Jerry, and I'm having a little Tom and Jerry cartoon action moment. Of course, Jerry wins Tom the Cat, and uh, 94 does a little uh, little nut tea bag, just kind of standing there, just kind of thing. And then the nicest message came up. Your peer has left the game. That kid's not my peer, man. He quit on me. Not even at halftime. How embarrassing. So, yeah, sorry about that. Couldn't bring you guys the best gameplay. More games coming out for me. Madden 12 would be my new thing right now. Probably bring some Black Ops. Might bring some Crisis 2. Stuff like that. Labor Day weekend, you'll bring a lot of video, guys. Do apologize for all the wait. Hope all is well in your life, and uh, keep rocking, guys. Peace.